an all signs reading. It's also my 999th video on this channel, uh, <laughs> which is crazy to me. The moon is in 0.2% illumination in the sign of Virgo. Tomorrow is the new moon in Virgo. The day after that, we, we um, Mercury goes direct and we'll no longer have to deal with Mercury retrograde until his ass decides to be acting a fool again. <laughs> so, there's been a lot, right? And, uh, shoot, this last 999 videos of me sitting here speaking to all y'all mofos, it's still going, right? There were so many times where I was like, man, oh, like, life is getting hard, there's too many distractions, I don't know if I could keep doing it, and I carried on, and here we are. So, um, cheers. <laughs> Glad we made it. Some of y'all have been like some day one, you know, subscribers. Um, I know Adrian is out there always like, always hitting with the best feedback. I mean, y'all all have great feedback, to be honest. I should sit up the bit. Um, but it's great. <laughs> um, and yeah, I mean, I don't know, dude. It's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. We're still here doing this. So, um... Let's see how this new moon in Virgo energy is treating you. What shifts and changes and growths are we going through? Right? And I say we because I feel like I'm right here with you on so many of these journeys, you know. Um, so, I'll be getting mad with you. <laughs> we, we getting happy together, you know. It's like... I don't know, it's been really cool connecting with you guys through tarot, through the ethers. So, who am I reading for tonight? Somebody who's like, currently activating apparently. We have star bathing, right? So this is light body, crystal grid, transmission and activation, right? This is really connecting with the energy self, the higher self, with the cosmic heart showing up. This is all about devotion, um, potency and making your life a moving prayer, you know? Like live out your manifestations. Don't just dream it, do it. <laughs> Um, and, you know, it's also kind of a card indicating that, you know, it's okay to ask the universe for what you want in life, you know, you shouldn't feel like, oh, maybe this is too much or whatever, you know, it's like, you know, just be real with it, <laughs> be like, you know what, this is, this is what I want, this is how I want to feel, this is, you know, the kind of outcomes I want to look at, how do I get there, you know? I think a lot of people forget to ask that last bit. How do I get there? Um, because sometimes there is like a decision that needs to be made, an action that needs to be taken, or even like changing behavior. It's like uh, Dr. Joe Dispenza often talks about how like you can change your entire life by changing like your behavior and you know, like, your mindset towards things, of, like, being open to, like, a new way of doing things, a new way of living. So, change your mind, change your life. Ah. And, you know, like, it helps you to not live in such rigidity of, you know, like, absolutes. Like, I absolutely cannot do that. Or, I have, you know, it's like, some things, you know, not all things, you know, sometimes you really shouldn't absolutely do something, but, um, every now and then there's, like, that little, you know, like, impulsive whatever that it's like, you know what, maybe you should do that, you know, maybe you should drink a bottle of wine by yourself and talk to a camera, <laughs> who knows, <laughs> you know, like, where, where are your actions taking you, what's your trajectory, dog? And it's all your choice, ultimately. 
based on the decisions you make, what you say yes to, what you say no to, it all matters, ultimately. The boundaries you keep. Interesting. I could be talking to an Aquarius. We have the first card out is a star card, the Aquarius card. This is being in the spotlight. This is being a humanitarian, right? If you notice, she's just pouring out her vase of, well, minerals, <laughs> but it's supposed to be water, you know, onto the earth. And it's like kind of like you know, sometimes doing that humanitarian work, pouring out your love onto the earth, really brings about, like, positive attention, right? Not, not necessarily a negative spotlight, but, like, you know, standing in the forefront of what you're doing and, like, and not being afraid to shine, you know? Um, but also, like, it's not just for the sake of shining. It's, like, uh... You know, the star card it has a sense of purpose, a sense of drive. You know, I, I often tell people, like, stars are incubators for the soul. We're all made out of star stuff. So it's like connecting. And, and what's interesting, too, is, you know, all the, all the stars you see at night, like, they're all fucking dead. <laughs> okay? And so, like, theoretically, you'd be looking right at your past self. You know, just when you look out into the sky and it's like, you can see into your past. You can literally, like, like, sometimes I go out there and I'm like, that one was for sure me. And that one over there was my homie. <laughs> you know? like, I don't know. But, you know, connect with your, and, and it talks about that, connecting with your light body. You know, your celestial self. The part of you that is the universe, you know. Um, with the Seven of Swords in reverse, and this is kind of like letting go of, like, toxic or deceitful energies or behaviors or people who live in those behaviors. Um, this is like getting real strong about, uh, like, setting boundaries and cutting things off. Very Aquarian energy, to be honest. Um, Aquarians are like, hella boundaries. <laughs> you don't want to... You don't want to cross an Aquarius's boundaries, even hug one without permission, and <laughs> you know, I know I'm an Aquarius dog. I feel bad for all my friends. Okay, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, and following up with the Seven of Swords in reverse is the Prince of Cups. Um, somebody may be like, kind of like admiring you or like looking to make an offer here um with the seven of swords in reverse this is also somebody showing up authentically right not using like illusion or deceit or manipulation you know to like to come in this is also like just being admired you know if it's not someone coming in it's like the energy of being admired especially with the star card coming out it's like people authentically admire you and see like this this realness in you. Very nice. Or on the flippity flop, you could be admiring somebody else, you know, the roles can be switched. I, I like to always kind of remind people like I'm just reading it as I see it. But I, I get the feeling that you're I'm just going to read it from the way that I'm seeing it, with the Aquarius coming out first. Not saying that you're an Aquarius. You could have it in your chart, and you're, you know, you're sitting in this energy, this very loving and compassionate energy. And it's admirable, right? You've got admirers. You also have haters, dog. Okay, very nice. Um, but that shit ain't worrying you, right? 
No, you got five of swords, right? Haters are gonna hate. And this is like people trying to inflict like their emotional state onto you, right? They're like projecting and, and that kind of nonsense and you know. Um it's it's honestly a lack of like complete judgment, I guess is the best way to put it. I don't like to say a lack of good judgment. It's like they're only judging a portion, right? They're not observing the whole thing. Um, and, you know, like, being in the spotlight, you're going to have admirers and you're going to have haters. You're going to have people that are upset that you're kind of shining right now. And is that going to stop a star from shining just because the darkness gets upset about it? No, <laughs> right? They're going to have to coexist. Um... Yeah, Princess of Wands in reverse. Somebody could be, like, gossiping about you behind your back or, like, you know, trying to, like, create drama or slander in some kind of way. Like, the Nine of Swords in reverse. I don't see you really super concerned about this. Um, you're just kind of like, I don't <laughs> do your thing. Tell them more. What else did I do? <laughs> um, you know, it's kind of this energy of just, like, being unbothered, you know, and just kind of understanding, you know, not everyone's going to be in the same place. Mentally, emotionally, spiritually, like, you know, I see you, you know, because Nine of Swords would be like hell bothered getting anxiety and sleep, sleeplessness over this, but that in reverse, it's kind of like, uh, like, it is what it is, you know, people... People will be people, right? They just out here people in all the damn time. <laughs> Can't believe it. <laughs> so, what is your advice? that shit go that's what it's saying ten of wands in reverse it's like set that burden down bro it's weighing you down you're on your path like why even let it right why allow yourself to be so burdened this is like a very fiery energy right because it takes a lot to get you to that point a lot of nonsense to get to the no bullshit energy you know because like in the beginning stage of life, it's like, oh, you know, everything matters so much. And it's like you're kind of reaching this place of indifference. But not in the sense of, like, you don't care about anybody or anything. But in regards to this, like, a very dramatic, very, like, shit-talky energy. It's like you're just kind of like, whatever. Don't matter to me. All right. Yeah, we have the Fool in reverse with the Two of Cups in reverse. Um, could be an ex or, like, somebody that you were very close to that's kind of, like, in this energy. Um, with the Fool in reverse, there's, like, this energy of, like, not wanting to go around this again, right? Not wanting to be foolish, not wanting to give to this energy. It's just kind of this very, like, alright, I've seen enough. You know, curtain call. Kind of, yeah. Uh, and, you know, whatever. If, you're, if you are dealing with, like, an ex or, or, or somebody that you were close with, and they're in this energy, I feel like by now, right, like, a lot of people have come to the realization that, like, you know, like, to observe other people's actions for themselves, to make their own rational decision based on, you know, what they're seeing. If somebody's character is, like, always, like, gossiping and slandering and shit-talking, then, and the other person is not, you know, like, I feel like your, your, your character, like, gives you credibility in that sense, you know, it's like, people can say whatever they want, and other people will come up and, see who you are and be like, oh, that's not actually the person that is sitting here, <laughs> you know, like, whatever, you know. 
So I feel like that's part of why you're like kind of unbothered. You're like, whatever, people people do this, right? Like it's not like anything new. If you've dealt with the human race, you've dealt with the human drama that comes along with it, right? Saturn energy and this is telling me that like you're really closing out cycles you know and you're about to experience like a whole new a whole new world right like something outside of what you've already experienced in life when you cut out the known and the comfort zone and like all the things that you're very familiar with and then you go into unfamiliar uncharted territory you know, like, this becomes, like, a new life, right? It's not even, like, like, you don't, you no longer feel like the same person. Your energy is different. The way you communicate is different. Because that's just kind of, like, what happens as you grow, right? As you evolve. As you leave situations and behaviors and mindsets behind, you know? you live your truth yeah six of swords i see you like six of swords talks about like moving away or like you know walking away from situations it's interesting because the aquarius symbol is here in this card the aquarius symbol is here in this card and the star card came out like that could be pretty significant to somebody here uh, a lot of air energy, right? A lot of swords. Also a lot of fire, because we also have the Queen of Wands showing up. The Queen of Wands is somebody who, like, lives their truth and, you know, leads it through compassion and warmth and lovingness, you know? And it's like, sometimes that Queen of Wands gets mad, right? Sometimes the fire comes out and burns some people. Um, but... You know, this is a, a fixed fire, right? This is what it says right here, fixed fire. So, when in, in astrology, something that's fixed is, like, something that is very, like, strong-willed and sticks to their guns, you know? Something, you know, like, if a queen of wands feels cornered, then she becomes a torch, you know? Um... And this is all part of that, like, authenticity, right? Because the Queen of Wands is the Queen of Communication, right? Honest communication, open communication, you know? And I think, too, this is why, like, you're outgrowing, like, certain um, people and situations and things, you know? It's like, you're not really in that same place that you were before, you know? Where before you may have been, like, a little more lackadaisical with your boundaries, right? You may have been like, you know, it's, it's, it's just a little boundary crossing. Until eventually you're like, oh, dang. <laughs> I let it go too far. <laughs> also, like, the Queen of Wands is very attractive energy, right? fierce and very like passionate energy as well so there could be a ferocity to you um yeah ten of pentacles in reverse with the princess of cups more adm more admirers kind of like people looking up to you um you know cups is all you know especially with the prince and princess of cups it's like they're they're both kind of showing up in this like young energy of like looking up to you or admiring you. Um, with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, I see you like yeah letting go of like community connections, 
this could be bigger than just like walking away from like one or two people. This could be like moving out of town or like you know maybe like going ghost on everyone and just like starting over it's you know it's very significant though and it's something that i don't think people ever saw coming you know this closing out of cycles this very like standing your ground very fixed energy like it's it's very decisive energy it's very like you know what like when my mind's set on something, I'm just doing it, <laughs> you know, kind of energy. Prince of Pentacles in reverse. This is... Some people feeling rejected. Ace of Cups in reverse because like perhaps you perhaps you've rejected some people or like have turned down opportunities for like a new love cycle. Um Yeah, it's like it's kinda like you're just kinda doing your own thing right now. You're kinda not even in the zone. Or, you know, they, this could also be the energy of somebody letting go because they're, they fear being rejected as well. Like, not initiating a, a new love cycle with you out of fear. You know, it's, like, easier to let go than to take that one chance of, like, getting rejected, right? It's, which I guess is why it's a prince and not a king, right? Because it's, kind of immature to like you know because you don't know unless you know and you can't know unless you try and you know and if there's like a fear of trying to if you're taking that initiative then perhaps you know it's not really somebody that you'd want to um invest yourself in right that's probably not the best energy because like somebody who's truly like on your level who's equally yoked would you know, like, would take the action, <laughs> right? Would do the thing. <laughs> and it's weird that, it's weird for somebody to feel, like, rejected before even having the opportunity to get rejected, you know? And I've seen it a lot, but, like, I also find it really kind of funny. Um... But, you know, it's, it's part of this Queen of Wands energy. You're attracting a lot of different types of people right now. Admirers, haters, gossipers, slanderers, cowards. <laughs> Who are you, dog? All right, so Vishvamata. Although you may be in circumstances that you would prefer not to be in at this time, you are actually in a position of unrealized spiritual power. You will gain benefit from what is transpiring. When the relevant learning and personal growth have been acknowledged and integrated, these circumstances will give way to a more favorable situation. Nithya Kali. Through journeying within, you will gain energy, insight, and freedom from the constraints of what has been. Allow that which needs to end to do so. You shall realize that you are not being denied, but released. There is something new on the horizon for you. Honor your losses, but keep hope in your heart for what is meant to be. So that is what I have for you. Namaste. I love you guys, and I'll catch you later.